girls just want to have fun. Somebody here just thinks maybe you want to have fun. Or maybe they feel like they want to have fun with you. Um, I'm hearing that song, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. It's an old school song. Girls just want to have fun. They feel like you just want to, you know, maybe... Um, someone here wants to know if you want to have fun with them, I just heard. Oh, my God. Someone here wants to have a good time with you. Um, somebody here wants to see you get wild. They want to see you get loose. They want to see what it's like. It's what I just heard. They want to see you have fun. Hmm. Somebody here want to see that in you. They want to bring that out. Somebody here wants an opportunity with you. There is a very spiritual bond that you have this person. Y'all have bonded with this person. So they want to connect with you. They want to take you out. This could be bringing you around friends, group of friends. I'm seeing group of friends, honey. I'm seeing a crowd of people. There's drinks. This could be a bar. Maybe they want to take you up. They want they want to have fun. Where do you want to go? Let's go. Let's start. But let's get a drink. This doesn't just have to be one night. This could just be like y'all just busting it up with each other. Mm, Earthbender, Tesaurus, Virgo, and Copper. One old child. We got to see, honey. Because they know girls just want to have fun. But someone here wants you to have fun. They want you to have a good time. Somebody here wants, get, wants you to get wild with them. Mm. Let's see. All right. Happy Mother's Day, Earthbenders. Um, this is a little Mother's Day treat for you guys. This is still a unisex message. You know, Mother's Day is a special day. We're going to see what is the energy between you and your person. All right. Um, now that Mother's Day is around, how are they feeling about you? Okay, guys. Um, whatever's happening here can be happening physically. It can be happening <clears throat> spiritually. For some of you guys, it's definitely going to be both. These are general messages. Only take what is for you. Simply leave what is not. We're definitely going to use the animal realm, okay? The animal tarot to tap into these messages for you guys, all right? If you don't know already, I am your shaman empress, a.k.a. the shaman hummingbird. I will be put, I have already put one on your areas only placements, love, tarot. Anywhere areas is in your chart, just not your four major houses. Get all your tea, all the lemonade. Please take advantage of that, all right? If you need to see, Cafe Astrology will always be linked down below. And Cafe Astrology, may I add, does a lot of amazing things for you when it comes to your birth chart and things like that, okay? All right, let's see what is going on. The energy is flowing. It will fluctuate back and forth between you and your person. So these are general. Just, again, take what is yours. Simply leave what is not. I'll be reading all the signs and the energies. You don't got to worry about a thing. Baby, I got you. Messages for the earthbenders. Oh, messages for the earthbenders. I just want to, I just want to... Uh, I feel like I'm offbeat a little bit. Um, girls just want to have fun. I got to look up the artist's name. Okay. I did, um, Nicki Minaj. They're showing me Nicki Minaj images. I don't know if she did. Did she do? I think she did. Remix the song or some shit like that. I just want to. I just want to. Yeah. All right. We going to get wild with them? Um, Earthbenders <laughs> and my Cardi B voice. Okay, somebody here could be a Cardi B and a Nicki Minaj fan. Uh, the truth is, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, I feel like, do share a lot of the same fans. Okay, I do. All right, so we got the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This person's holding on to you. Um, uh, this person here wants to like connect. This person wants to take you out. I told you. The fox and the bees. The bees represent like community energy. The fox is sneaky. Somebody here wants to sneak out or they want you to sneak out with them. They do. This person is also looking for sex. I'm seeing rabbit energy and messengers. All right. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I had to check on something real quick. All right. Let's see what else is going on. What is this? The four of cups. Yeah. Um... Somebody here is missing you. I heard your words, missing you. Um, this person um, thinks about you. Hey, um, Armadillo, self-defense. 
they could feel like you could be in a defense mode. You are this person. I told you, here's a spirit bond. Y'all are soulmates. This person could, you know, rather they say it like we're going to say it here on our channels, but they look at you guys as like soulmates. You have the three of pentacles and they definitely want to work together. They want to, they want to, um, they want you guys to like come together, be together, do things together, um, work on things together, help each other. They want you in their world. They want to create that. That's what they want. Um, we also um, have the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Someone here still wanting to know if you are single. Bears also represent courage. This is somebody here um, that feels like if, they, if this person is trying to see how single you are, if you... Or sing, they could be like trying to figure out if you're single. They might have the courage to, to like do something to kind of find out or something. This is somebody here that wants to know if you're still available. Because I feel like a lot of you guys have connected with this person already. Let's see. Yeah, because geese are like um, bravery. This is somebody that wants to be brave. And we have the Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Okay, now for... Ooh, Earthbenders. Now for some of you guys, this is a new person. Yeah, this is a new person that you're going to go through this with. There's a new person that's in your energy that wants to see what you're about. Um, They want, to, they want you to get wild with them. They want to see, like... I don't know. There's something about you that this person wants to connect with. They want to have a fun time. They think that you and them will have a very good time. The Knight of Pentacles. This is someone here, to be honest with you. They're looking for something slow. They're not really looking for something serious. They could be open-minded. They just want you guys to come together and kind of kick it. They propose some things, propose some things to you, create some things with you. You or two. All right? Um, but th they see you like that. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean... They obviously get their eye on you. Yeah, this person feels guided towards you. Um, this is a new soulmate that's about to come into your life. Um, Donkey is all about guidance in the spiritual realm. We got the Five of Pentacles. For some of you guys, it's like, you. I think you want a little bit something more. You do. You do. You want something more, and, this, and you're going to call judgment. Yep, you are. And for some of you guys, you're going to cut this off. This, I've got to be honest, this looks like a very, very fun time. It could come with, you know, some intimacy of some sort of way or some shit. But this looks like a very good fun time, but nothing is coming out of it. Um, th this person here is like slow, very slow energy. And this is someone here, to be honest, they want you to take it slow too. Y'all are both pulling um, nights energy. Um, but, you know, some of you guys got a new night in your life, honey. This is a new person. So let's get an angel number and let's see what, what, what else is going on. Um, this person um, also could be somebody here that, um, you know, they could, like, Somebody here is, they, they sneak. They could be sneaky, mysterious. You might not know. Like, they're not expressing this to you. It's like, you might feel it. But they're not expressing this to you. Or they're not showing you. You're going to tell by this person's actions. Because this is, um, somebody here, like, holds back their wands. This person don't work with wands. So, in spite of what they may say to you, even though it might seem true, it might be even be the truth, because the Ace of Swords represents the truth, and how you may feel. And for some of you guys, I don't care. You, you know, you might feel, um, like... You really miss this person, but you're going to have to fight the urge. Or for some of you guys, you are, you're going to leave this out in the cold because, or you're, you're guided to do that with the donkey energy. You're looking for something more emotional and this person's looking for fun. 
We have a 3944. Let's take a look at this and see what's going on. 1005 on a timer also breaks down to 15. If you can also look at it like that with zero being nothing. This somebody here. I feel like you're going to humble this person. Um, three nine four four. This signifies talents and inner wisdom. There are vital things that you possess and can take you to a higher level in your path of success. This is a powerful, meaningful message from the spiritual realm signaling that your life is currently also in alignment. Okay. Let me see what else I pick up. Um, this could be mean, petty, and sympathy. I feel like you might feel like this person is a little, this could feel a little mean, a little, uh, a little petty. Okay. Um, from this person, but I feel like you, you have to understand. I always, this is how I like to say shit like this, because I hate when I get tongue twisted. Um, it's like this. This is somebody that is like, you can't force nobody. You can't push anybody, you know, and I would suggest you not. It's almost like baking a cake. If you take it out the oven too early, it's not done. It'll look done on the outside, but on the inside, it'll be runny, smushy. It might even fall. This will fall, and that's exactly why you're going to leave this out in the cold. Now, for some of you guys, it's like y'all have so much fun. Y'all connect so well that you're going to find yourself at times missing them. Four of Cups and a, Four of Pentacles. You're going to find yourself missing them, but you're going to have to put on a defense mechanism and hold back because in spite of what you want, you're going to, it's like, you know how you get in these cycles where you're, you, y'all, y'all kick it so well, you click clack so well. And it's like, you know, you start trying to push towards a connection or you start trying to, you know, why, you know, why ain't we connecting? Like we should have more. They, it, it, they, and if they don't want it or they're not ready for it, they just don't. You just have to, like, I don't know how to say it. You might have to wear thick skin with this person. Because interacting with them confuses you because the chemistry is so strong. The vibe is there. It's a whole energetic vibe. It's a vibe in the energy that y'all share. So it, it brings a little bit of confusion in with this new soulmate. Because it's like, we, we get along so well. Why, well. why are we in a relationship? Why aren't you, like, trying to pursue me more? Yep, it just confirmed that for me. Why are we seem stagnant like we ain't going nowhere? Now I'm looking at you like your ass is sneaky with the fox energy. Why are you holding back? Why are you acting weird? And it's because of what, what they want. Um, Let's see what's going on. <sighs> Show me the four of pentacles. This person here holds back uh, telling you the truth. This is somebody that will... You'd have to be ask this person specific questions because they will still hold back certain truth. This is like you didn't ask kind of energy, but you will always be able to tell somebody's actions. This is why they have their wands, they have what they do and how they do it. Because they this is um um somebody that's smooth. This person is smooth with their shit. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. What's the five of pentacles? Mm. The store. Yeah, see, you're always trying to work it out. Let's work on what happened. Let's work on, you know, what's going on with us. What's went wrong? You know, I mean, I want to connect with you. You could be connected to an airbender, Gemini, Libra, and Aqua Aries. We have Virgo. We have Aqua Aries and Pisces. We have Capri on here as well. Cancerian. And it's like the Seven of Pentacles, and you're always going to be left waiting. This is also somebody here that will leave you waiting. What's this? Yep, the Empress in reverse. See, is this? that's the problem. And this is why it's a problem. Because as long as this person's enters energy, you will always be an Empress in reverse. Period. And you're an Empress. You shouldn't be in reverse. Yep, the Five of Swords because of their manipulation, because of their mind games. This person likes to play mind games with you because they don't want to tell you the truth. That's the Knight of Cups. You're the Knight of Cups. They don't want to tell you the truth. Or they don't want to show you everything. Yep, the Six of Swords. They'll tell you. They'll, it's like 
giving you half truths is what they like to say about energy like that. What's the four of cups? What's the four of cups? The sun. Yeah. And the six of pentacles. Now, for some of you guys, you're going to get enlightenment about, like, this person um, shortchanging you, breadcrumbing you, gaslighting you, all that kind of shit. Yep, in this relationship, the four of wands. And this could be also somebody here that starts giving time and energy at somebody else's house. It's like they're they're also spending time somewhere. Yep, they are the hangman. This is somebody here that's will leave you waiting while they spend time with other somebody else. And somebody else gets more time than is than an, another person. So if there's two of y'all and not the five of cups, that of course will make you feel some kind of way, maybe even depress you if you found out about that. It's also what I'm getting. Yeah, uh-uh. The Two of Cups, the Devil card, yeah. The Chariot, the Nine of Pentacles. Yep, I told you, quiet mode. The Fox energy. This person here is clever as fuck. The Tower. But it, it's like enlightenment comes. Why? Because y'all are y'all y'all share a certain um, vibration energy. Y'all are so for a lot of you guys, this is like soulmate energy. Yep, the Eight of Swords. And for some of you guys. It's, this is also somebody here that gets a little bit of attitude. Somebody here could also be dealing with some kind of jail time or something they ain't telling you about. So you know that. I don't, yep, judgment. Yeah, they are. Somebody here is like um, also into, like, they could need a judge or they're going to go see a judge. Honey, this person's going to court. Just so you know that. Okay. Uh, Ace of Cups. I do feel like you have more feelings. Um, that you might would like to have for this person. Show me the light of cups. What's the light of cups? The ten of swords. Yep, but they betray you. The king of wands. Yep, the five of cups. And this is going to hurt your feelings. The knight of wands. Yeah. You need to be careful for ones because you could be... You know, everything is going through smoothly and you're not catching it, that these are like little mini one night stands. It might take this person two to three. Somebody here got a smooth. They got a way they do their shit, like the way they make their moves and it's slick. They slide right through the cracks and take you two to three times to realize it. But it's like by the time you find this out in two to three times, they didn't did it through the two to three times. That's what she said. Yep, the Knight of Pentacles. And then it's like, that's this person. Oh, my gosh. And then it's like they slow down because you're like, sh like maybe switching up or catching on. This person is slick as hell. What else is going on here? This person knows girls just want to find someone here not only wants to have a good time with you, but they know they want to, um, they know how they think they know how to show you a good time. But that's what it is. It's a good time. This person, no girls want to have fun. We have blind and reservation. Perseverance. I'm sorry. I said reservation. I'm thinking about my reservations for Mother's Day. Um, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, this is somebody here that you don't see. You don't see this right away, but it's like you keep, you push through this. You're going to get through this. It's also something I'm seeing. And this is also somebody that hides things from you so they can go, I, they go, I'm telling you, so they can like have their power to go the way they want or get through. It, it helps them get through or some shit like that. Like, you know, pulling the shit they want to pull. We got coach. And this could be somebody here that try to coach you. Somebody here wants to mold you to them, to what they want and not what you may want because you want a connection they don't they just want to have fun so they could be doing this by like or they just want you to have fun with them and they have a way with doing it without you really catching it right away and they're trying to get you to just go for that because by then the two three times get past that y'all do it they you know hopefully you will like the connection you might like the sex you might have had fun and maybe you would want to do it again self-love and for some of you guys it's like you don't have to give yourself some self-love you are going to be pushed from the universe to step back from this person yeah because you're the gift you're the gift and this is somebody here that doesn't see it or they just don't want to see it because they had too much pride. This person is caught in their ego. They're, they're doing them. 
Let's see what else T is here. No, I think they like you, they, but they they feel like right now y'all would have... Somebody here sees you as, like, damn, like, we could really fucking kick it and have a ball. And they just want to entertain that. They're not even thinking of really nothing else. I told you, damn, I'm good. Somebody here got legal issues. And this person got shit going on. They got other shit that they are focusing on legally um, played out. Somebody here also... Uh, there's legal issues being played out here. You could feel like this energy is, like, immature. It's like, man, whatever. That shit's played out. I'm over it. Or something. Yeah, I'm telling you. They got legal issues, child. Mm -mm. They got some shit going on. Okay. Give me the tea on this for the earthbenders. So, Swords, Virgo, and Capricorn. Give me the tea on this for the earthbenders. Ooh. Yep, they fake. Fake as hell doing Michael Jackson moves. And we ain't got time for that shit. That's what she said. Yep, ignoring ignoring and this is somebody here that um will like i don't know like ignore you a little bit always partying I, I, this person parties they want to have a hell of a good time this is a they'll they really know how to show you a time because they ass is always out drinking they always out partying you may be thinking oh this is nice you know this is the first time they took me and we had a good time together and they didn't been there like seven eight times that's a party spot Create, this person's very creative. So you need to be careful. Yeah, romantic love affair. This person here is looking for an affair. They want to have an affair with you. Spiritual hater. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not... This is also giving me... They might know about y'all's spiritual bond. But they don't... They're not focused on that. You know, if you bring it up... You know, we got a bond. I feel bonded to you. Ah... <sighs> Come on now, don't don't do that. We ain't on that. You know we cool. Don't don't do that to me. You trying now? You trying to you trying to make me feel bad? But that's just all part of it. They already knew. They're just not with it. So they'll hate on that energy with you. Like nah, like chill out. You know, something like that. Yeah. And somebody here always wants you to like kiss their ass and run behind them. This person also likes you to chase them, child. This person needs to take seven goddamn seats. Um, I can't. Let's see what they want to say to you. They need to take seven seats, child. They just want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. This person here could have a thing how they look at feminine energy, female feminine energy. Like, all girls just want to do the same thing. Here you go, talking about our spiritual bond. They feel it, you know, but they might not believe in it. Like, no, we cool. We just chill. We just vibe real good. Mm -mm. What does this person want to say? It's their pride. Just say the little words. You just sat where to eat. Yeah, somebody here wants to take you out to eat. They want to take you out for drinks. They want to take your ass out and have a good time. If you want this person, this is a good time. If you're looking for a real good time, y'all, somebody like, damn, I connect with them a real good time, this is this person. But as soon as you say, man, I have so much fun. We connect so well. Like, I just feel like we sh we, sh we should date. It's going to go It's gonna go to shit. Um, stop, stop fucking whining. Yep. And so I told you, and they're going to hate on that, especially if you bring this up in a spiritual sense. This is a spiritual hater. Oh, stop whining. There you go with that. Like, there's something like that that they're giving me. And what is this? You're fucking stressed. Yeah, this situation is going to stress you guys out. And you're going to have to do some self-love or you're going to pull back and do some self-love. Someone here could be, like, into dying, eating, like, lettuce and tomatoes. And I'm saying lettuce and tomatoes. Dying, eating, eating. Um, yeah, salads. That's what I'm seeing, so that's why I said it. Okay, yeah, kale. Uh, spur, how you say that? I said lettuce, y'all. I've been trying to say that word. I didn't say that word, like, 17 different ways, y'all. But they know what I'm asking. But, you know, I'm different lettuces. Somebody here is into, I'm seeing cucumbers. I'm tasting Italian dressing. I'm seeing ranch dressing. Some of you guys could have even just had a salad. Alright, let's get some letters. Get some letters for the collective. For the earthbenders. 
All right, let's see. What's the letters for the earth vendors? Yeah, this person. We have Archangel Raphael. We also have the North Side. Yeah. For some of you guys, Archangel Raphael is going to connect with you for your self-love, your healing. This is a soulmate that could be supposed to show you areas where you're supposed to do self-love and where you're supposed to work. They're going to like extremely highlight the shit out of them areas. I won't be surprised if Cabron come out for you guys. Sectoria's energy in the ninth house. We got B. And we got R. And we got P. Someone here could have just used the BP station. And we have H. Uh -huh. And we have W. Someone here can live out of town. All right. Let's get a love oracle. You, you need to know what this person represents. Somebody here, and, and people be like, oh, you should have told me the truth. You should have. No, they're not going to tell you the fucking truth because it, it's not, they're not going to get what they want from you if they tell you the truth. If they tell you, you know, I'm just into this for the fun time, not a long time. Ding, ding, that's your confirmation. And then you would put up a natural guard, you know, so that's why they lie. And this could be somebody's like, I never lied to you, but they gave you half, half truth, so they manipulate it. And all you got to do for here is pay attention to this person's wands, their actions. This person's actions does not match their words. This person want to take you out for a drink, child. I can't make this up. That's what it is. Yep, and forced in. Someone here wants to take you out for a drink, and it's like, you know, they could kind of, you know, they're trying to get you to have sex with them. I'm going to just tell you right now. Yep, banishment. You're going to banish this whole situation. Yep, we got rings and say goodbye. That's what I'm saying. You are looking for a connection, something that's going to bring you some kind of worth and value. This person is looking for a romantic night. That's it. So you have to decide what, what what you want. Earthbenders, we all grown. So if you are like, you know, you, you're you grown as hell. That's your business. Oh, well, I'm going to have a fun time. You know, I haven't had fun in a, in a while. And I met this person and we we're, we're have a ball. We kick it and we're going to have a, a good experience. You are allowed to do that. My job is to read the energies. You have to decide what you want in your life. If you want a relationship, this is not that person. But this is a person that you will have that special chemistry with and it will trip you up and it will get you in trouble. So you have to make sure you are telling the universe what you want, what you're doing right now, and what you are ready for. Okay? What's the oracle messages for the earth benders? Show me the oracle messages for the earth benders. Let's see. Contemplation and mystery. Yeah. For some of you guys, it's like it kind of leaves you in your head. But this is something here that you're going to be, it's like you, you accept it. And I feel like this is where Archangel Raphael comes in and you get that healing energy. You get that self-love energy. Yeah, abundance in reverse and solitude. Now, for some of you guys, it's like you're going to keep going. See, the thing is about the truth. It always come out. And it's like you see the truth, the mystery in this person. It's going to get revealed, period. You're going to know. Yeah, love. It's like, wow, you know, I had love for them. And this is somebody that somebody here could feel like they got love for you, too. That's the truth. But in love and having love is two different things. Mm. And I want to say something. Yeah, mm -mm. some of you guys are going to move forward. Um, people that are not ready, sometimes it's not you, it's them. 
And it's like, then when they are ready to settle down, they think about the people that they want to settle down with. And they'll try to even come back and get them. So, I, I don't know why they wanted me to tell you guys that. This could be this person's energy where they're just not looking to settle down. But, you know, you might be that perfect settle down, that soulmate. And then when they get to that point, they ready to settle down and look for you and you're in a whole relationship and with somebody. And then they wish they, like, you know, that kind of energy. Shit, we see that shit on TV the whole, all the time. All right, let's get yourselves a planet for you earthbenders. Let's see. For the earthbenders, almighty beautiful universe and holy spirits. For the earthbenders. Let's see. Oh, yeah, honey. There's going to be, there's talk. There will be talk about the sixth house. Okay. Now, for some of you guys, there might, there's rumors about this person. Mm-hmm. There could be health rumors, STD rumors. Somebody here had a rumor about an STD. Um, five, two, four, four is also angel number. Sorry, guys. I'm channeling so much energy. The births are just coming. It'd be like hard to talk through this shit. That's what she said. Um, but yeah, this could be also, uh-huh, yeah, see? And that shatters their dream of being like free and able to do what they want. I bet you this is when this person going to want to come back to you. We got activate, yep, the second house. Yeah. Yep. And this is, could be somebody here, like a, the solar flare could have like reset energy for this person. Or for like um, a lesson to be learned is what I'm getting. We got Neptune. We got the third house. Yep. And the fifth house, which is all about passion and the, your past. This, is, um, this could be um, a soulmate from your past fucking life. You have a lesson that you're going to learn from this person or they're going to teach you that you didn't learn last time. That's why the angelics is working with you. So you can move forward. Oh my gosh. The truth is going to come to light so you can move forward. Oh my gosh. That's what she said. So that's what this is. Earthbenders. Master numbers 44 and master numbers 33 is here as well. Send it masters. Your masters are working with you. 44, 33 could be an angel number. This is what's going on. Um, you're supposed to have this. This person is supposed to try you and they're going to. Earth benders, you could be getting tested to see if you're really ready for that relationship that you want. All right, guys, we're going to shut it down right there. Um, I hope this helps you out in more than one way. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that bell. Hit all. That's going to keep you tapped in, tuned in, guys, and you will be notified when your messages are ready and available for you all. I love you. Stay dope. Next video upload. I'll share your name, Mom.